Hello everyone, I'm your buddy Matt and welcome back to The Park. We're now on episode 2 of this game and let's get started. Back 40 seconds of waiting and we are back, baby. Alright, now let's get started. I forget what I was doing last time. I think I was riding the roller coaster and then the thing came up behind me. Alright, so I guess that means we should go somewhere else now and find our little bitch ass Kellum. Oh, I got a flashlight. Yeah, give me this. The shit. witch awaits. Okay, how do I use Callum? it? Callum! Callum! Okay, I still can't open doors. It doesn't tell me how to use my flashlight though, which is weird. I guess we'll go this way. Beep beep. Um I'm not playing anymore, Callum! I think we came that way, so we should go this way. I don't think the map actually helps. Alright, we're at the roller coaster. We can go to Sideshow Alley if we keep going this way. Sideshows are fun, they have like the bearded lady and stuff. I don't this'll be fun. What could possibly go wrong? Hello? Oh, it's you. <laughs> I couldn't tell what the fuck that was. Sideshow Alley. This is gonna be fun. Huh? I can help you, Callum. I don't think we can help whatever that was. This looks like a what? What? Hmm. That's not ominous at all. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Time candy corpse. Ew. Can I play? No. It's a shame. I wish I could play. Hello? I almost forgot this was a horror game at first. I'm just passing through. Leave me be. Yep, this on my way on through. Okay, apparently not. Well, obviously we would go where the cotton candy corpse was found. That makes sense. Hello. Oh. Okay, Benjamin. Don't need to do any scary stuff, Benjamin. You just stay there. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? I'm sure he's fine. He looks alright. Besides the blood coming out of his ass. He's just got a little bit of a bloody ass, that's all. Can I go in? Nope, I can't go in. I can't go farther. <laughs> oh! Motherfucker! Why? Why would you do that? You f Chad, you fucking son of a bitch. Where'd you go? Can I leave now? Chad, you son of a dick. Let me out. I'm gonna turn around slow this time. Better not be there, Chad. Fuck dick. Okay, maybe I gotta go out the way I came. This isn't a game, Callum! Ooh, what's that? Pickled punks. Take pills? Yeah, why, why not? Uh, these are mine. I have a wicked sweet tattoo on my wrist. So nice. Yeah, fuck gravity. Alright. Not safe. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have took random pills and I'm just heading in an amusement park. That was bad. 
That was bad judgment on my part. But we're alright. We can just... Can we go this way? Maybe not. This way? Well, like dead fish follow the stream. That's not true. Well, this is the only way out, but there's a thing blocking it. Can I push it? Yeah! Super strong. Okay. What the hell is that? Chat, I see you over there, you fucking dick. You scared the hell out of me earlier, you fucking asshole. What do you want? Huh? What the fuck do you want? You turn around. I don't like you or Chad, you're both really mean. Excuse me. Damn teddy bears in my way. Tripping the fuck out. Don't touch me. What? Oh, that's not creepy at all. Hi. Don't leave me here, Callum. Yeah, we probably shouldn't took those pills. That was a bad call. Callum, I'm sorry. I am indeed sorry, Callum. Shit is hitting the fan. This was not a good decision. Oh. Oh no, I hurt myself. Okay, no. Get the band-aids. I don't blame her. That was pretty freaky. Oh, we back to it. Yay, and we're sober. This is a good start. All right. Callum! Callum! Well, I guess my lady's starting to get a little mad. Park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. What are you talking about? I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. I think you're losing your goddamn mind, lady. You should just leave. What does it say? Carrie Killian to Satan's Whore. Is that me? That's really rude. Why would you say that, big smiley face? But we'll go inside you, because why not? We're making lots of bad decisions today. Oh, we had a loading screen. Holy shit. Oh, good, we have a flashlight, because it wasn't creepy enough. Chad, I see you. Don't sneak up on me. Read page. But I got my eye on Chad over there. Chad the chipmunk. Little asshole. Close its gates. I'm not into reading everything, because I kind of get the gist, everyone died, and now this place is haunted, and she's kind of weird. Alright, Callum! What have you done with him? Callum's Ooh, look at him. I have no reflection. I knew it. I'm a vampire. What? Cardboard doesn't just disappear. I know this. You're gonna come out and spook me, aren't you? What are you doing over there, werewolf? You're not gonna spook me, are you? 
just gonna just gonna turn my back over here. Don't spook me. Uh oh. Chatty. Oh. No, Chad. No. Nazi babies. She's giving me the creeps. Like, more than this area, her breathing is giving me the creeps. Oh, there's that guy with the hat again. He's an ass hat. Where's he at? He's somewhere around here. Where is he? He's probably like underneath me or something. Do -do 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 -do. Superman! What? What is that scratching noise? Is it you, baby Nazi? What? What? Not gonna look at you. Hello? Nope, not going in there. I guess we'll go down here. This seems interesting. And whenever you go into a room where there's a chair in the middle, that always says good times. The radio. Nope, don't need that. Just doesn't seem to be anything interesting in here. I was wrong. Alright, well, I'll be on my way then. Making my way downtown. Spooky werewolf. Don't spook me. I said don't spook me. Werewolves never listen. I see you on the ground. You're gonna jump up. I knew you were gonna do that. Um, I'm going this way. Hello. Nope. Oh, yeah, we found the exit, I think. What, what do you want? Give me back Caleb so I can leave. Why don't you close doors with me? Get out of here, son of a bitch. Wait, are these stairs the whole time? Nope, can't go in there. Nope. Show yourself! This our house. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Thanks. Things never got any better. She's definitely lost her mind. Hello, TV. Um... Everything seems fine. All is well. What is this? Same toy. Nice! It's a bouncy. I like. What have you done with him? Down farther? Yeah, why not? Down's usually a good place to go. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, we're, we're doing this, aren't we? We're just going in a circle? Is this what we're doing? Oh, Callum! What's up, bro? God damn it, Callum! You could just come out and we could leave, but no! You gotta be a little bitch about it.
He's in the TV, it's Poltergeist. That's fucking creepy. Alright, these doors never work, I'm assuming. I'm gonna try them anyway, just to make sure. Knock, knock. Oh, the pictures changed. I like them much better now. Look at that, car's on fire. The blood. Anything in the fridge? Nope. Just a car fire one. Seems to be the best one. What are you doing? You got anything to contribute? Hello? Knock, knock. Well, at least the door's already open for me. That's good news. It's been nothing but a good news day. Bloop. 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 Yes, finally, hanging babies. That's all I ever want to see. Look at you, you little son of a bitch. Ah, ha, 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 ha. What's up with you, baby? You gonna spook me? You know, no kitchen is complete without hanging babies in it. That is just fact. Hello? What was a baby in the oven? I like how I should read instead of looking in the oven. Oh, that door's open now. Well, hold on. There's a knife. Take it. Or ice pick, whatever. We should take that with us. Alright, well, I guess we're just leaving him the baby in the oven. Of course I'm locked in. Why wouldn't I be? Can I leave, please? I'll take it. All right, keep doing that door. You're fine. No more hanging babies. Don't fucked up though. Yeah, the walls are bleeding. Oh hey, what's going on? Just hanging out. Oh, 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 oh. Done with this place. Bloop. Down we go yet again. Uh, are we just gonna keep doing this? Is this is what we're doing. Can't get much worse. Oh, thank goodness, we're somewhere else now. Good freaking news. Hold on. Alright. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape, we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of the story, the mother and the witch were the same person. So I ate my children. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? 
You can just not be insane. This reminds me of Insidious. Looks like the place where uh, that kid was held. What is this? Hansel and Gretel. What? Oh, hey, good news. Everything is working out. Ooh, cutscene. Calum. Calum! Of course, noob. I'm sure he's fine. Calum. Calum. Calum! No, not Chad! You pack up, you bastard. Check your corners, lady. Oh, he's got a Cthulhu shirt. That's funny. Stab him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stab him. Finish him. Finish him. Oh shit, she actually did it. Did she? I don't see no body. Did she kill him? Is Kellum dead? Did she stab a small child? So many questions. Yeah, now they are hey, going to get Lorraine. answered. Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't just... blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Oh, like their mind. What the hell do you have a B for? Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In hell, where she sent him. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Hmm. That was it. So, that was a really abrupt ending, killing Kellum. All in all, I gotta say this game was pretty scary. The atmosphere was good. Uh, it could have been a little bit longer, for sure. But as far as the graphics were, scary, atmosphere, scary, jump scares were really good. Chad, the fucking chipmunk, is a bastard, but the rest of it was good. I, I, I really like this game, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I will sit here to the end of the credits, because... Sometimes, who knows, Callum could be alive. Who knows? Never know. Well, there we have it. That was indeed the ending. Callum died. All in all, probably still a win because he has a stupid fucking name like Callum. Sorry if your name has Callum. But if you enjoyed this video, slam that like button and drop a comment down below. And if you're new here, welcome and hit that subscribe button. It really helps uh, me out a lot. And I shall see you in the next episode. Bye!